guys, welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Uh, you guys, if y'all watched my last video of the, um, I don't know if it was the last video, but a couple of videos ago probably, uh, it was the farmer's market where we went to the farmer's market and I bought some squash blossom and I was so, so excited about buying squash blossom. But they were getting wilty in the heat and so I had to put them in an ice bath. Um, the thing about squash blossom is you have to prepare it fairly quickly, like within um, the next day or so. So I bought these yesterday and so I'm going to go ahead and prepare them. Because there were so many in a bundle, I bought uh, one bundle of them for $3 uh, and there was so many in there. I'm going to do a squash blossom uh, dinner tonight. So what's on the menu is squash blossom soup and stuffed squash blossom that's deep fried, it's battered and then deep fried. So that's what we're going to serve, what I'm going to make today. Normally I would just put music to uh, what I'm cooking, but the reason I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk through this step by step is because I realize that squash blossom is something that uh, people don't, like not everybody eats. So um, I feel like if I just did music, there would be a lot of questions as to, well, what'd you do there and would you, you know, how did you prepare this? So uh, I'm just going to do a step by step and I'm going to try to keep this uh, video as short as possible. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started on preparing the vegetables for this, for the soup. Okay, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and rinse all of my, um, all of my vegetables. I just rinse them all together because I'm going to be using them at the same time uh, or in the same meal. So I just rinse everything together. I'm not going to peel these um, potatoes. One, they're already so small and uh, two, they are uh, new potatoes so they're, they're very thin skin. I'm going to go ahead and leave the skin on them and I'm just going to use some cool water and rinse those off. And before we get anything else started, I'm going to go ahead and get these um, chiles to roasting. Now, since I'm only going to be uh, roasting two chiles, I am going to go ahead and use my comal. I have it on high heat and I have the comal heating and those will just char and we, we just, um, we can go about doing everything else while those are doing their thing. All right, you guys, this is nothing special. I'm just going to go ahead and chop up my um, onions and uh, garlic. Um, I try to keep a bowl close by. Uh, like I explained in the last video, this bowl was left outside and the dog uh, got a hold of it because it is my um, compost bowl. So I try to keep it close by when I'm cooking and I throw all my compost in there and then I take it out um, when I go out to do chores. Now, because this is going into a soup, this uh, onion does not have to be chopped fine. It's just uh, because it's going to be sauteed and then it will be boiled. So um, it, do, it will cook way down. So it does not have to be finely chopped or anything. Just a, a good uh, chunky chop is great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my, get my garlic. Um, I am going to chop it a little bit smaller because I'm just going to kind of slice it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of tablespoons of um, butter. This is just regular butter. Um, it is salted. I never buy the unsalted, um, but you know, we, we like things a little bit salty here at Robertson's Belly Acres. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and it's going to be at, at kind of a high heat, uh, like a high medium maybe, um, to get that butter uh, melted down a little bit. And while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and check on these um, peppers. So we're getting a good blister on the peppers, so I'm going to go ahead and turn them. It doesn't take long on a, on a comal or on a um, cast, iron, cast iron skillet or comal. Um, it doesn't take long at all to do that, to um, char these. So uh, you might need to open a, a window when you're doing this if somebody is sensitive to the smell of it because it can choke you up. Butter is good and bubbly there. I'm gonna go ahead and add 
my onions and garlic, and I'm gonna saute those. Okay, see how my butter's kind of turning brown? I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. My uh, flame runs a little high on this stove, so uh, sometimes I have to turn it down a little bit more because I don't want I don't want the butter to burn. I want I don't want these to caramelize. I just want them to kind of have be clear. I want them to just cook down and and when they're clear, I'll, I'll take them apart. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put, uh, chop up the squash and the potatoes because we're gonna need those later. Again, I'm not going to cut this real small. Just little half moons is fine. And then I just wash those. I'm not gonna peel them. Honestly, when they're cooking in the um, soup, they will probably peel by themselves. And then you can just take, you just kind of skim the peels off the sides or off the top. I wanna keep a close eye on my onions. I don't want them to, uh, to burn. See, that's starting to get a little, get a little charcoal-y there. I'm gonna turn it down a little more. I gotta turn my chiles too. Woo. I got a lot going on over here. Okay. I'm almost done chopping up these papas. It won't take long to get them chopped and set aside. Okay, so you see this, it's just about to that, um, well, some of it's a little bit burnt, not burnt, but darker than I want it to be, but it's starting to caramelize. So I'm going to go ahead and take out about half of this because we'll add this in at the end of the, um, the process and it will give it, it'll keep that robust flavor. So I, I took out about half of, of that mixture and I'm just gonna set it aside. Okay, I'm gonna add three cups of um, chicken stock to that. Whew. Sometimes that stove, just the uh, flame is just a little bit higher than I want. And actually, I think I put, took out a little bit more than half, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that back in there. Okay, let's look at these chiles. Um, we got a good blister on that side. Really what we're wanting to do is we're trying to blister that skin so that it's easier to peel. It's kind of hard with, to blister this side because of the curve, but the rest of it is looking amazing. Um, starting to pop at me. I'm gonna let it blister for just a, whoop, just a little bit more. Let me see if I can get this little curve on there. It is hot, so you do want to be careful. Okay. I don't have a bag big enough for these peppers, but I do like the blister that's on them. So I'm going to put them there and I in this bowl, glass bowl, and then I'm just going to cover them with um, plastic saran wrap. And I'm gonna set that aside for about 15 minutes. So what's gonna happen here is uh, this plastic, covered in plastic, it will cause these um, peppers to sweat. And when they start to sweat, it'll be easier to peel those. So I'm just gonna leave that aside while and let it sweat for about 15 minutes. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and add my potatoes to this. What squash is going to do is going to give the soup the creaminess that, you're, that you'd be looking for in a, um, in a squash blossom soup. So it's, it's kind of the starches that you're looking for. I'm gonna raise that temperature and then that way we can bring this to a boil. 
Okay, so while we're waiting for that stock to boil, um, you know, watch pot never boils. So let's get busy doing something else while it's boiling. So I'm gonna take 24 of these um, squash blossoms out of this bowl. This is the um, the heavy, uh, I mean the ice, ice water bath that I put them in yesterday to try to kind of save a little bit of the blossom. Um, I'm gonna get about 24 of these so that I can rinse them and make sure they're washed off good. They do have little fuzzies on them, so you do wanna rinse them really good. So what do I have for? I'm gonna look for the ones that are torn and the ones that are smaller because I am going to stuff some of these, so I want to leave the bigger ones for the stuffed um, recipe. And I'm gonna rinse these. And this is just cool water that I'm using. So what I'm going to do to prepare them is I'm going to chop the stem off and then after I rinsed it really well, then see all of these little leaves that grow up, I'm just gonna break those off just like that. Those are my compost. And then I'm gonna wash out any grass or dirt from the field. And then last, I'm gonna go ahead and pluck out this um, stamen here or pistol, whichever. I'm just gonna pluck that out. And this is what your squash blossom should look like um, when, when, it's, when it's ready to be chopped. So now that we've got this to a boil, I'm gonna stir it, make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. Everything looks good. I'm going to lower the heat again and then I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Now that I've got all of these washed and um, stems, stamen, and leaves removed, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these into strips. Now these did wilt pretty good, so it's kind of hard to um, hang on to that, that bottom blossom, but I do have some of it there. If some of that and in, in the inside is too, too hard, you can take that whole cap off and just um, just cut these into strips. So I'm gonna half this. I'm going to, I'm only gonna put half of that in whenever I'm ready to put that in uh, to boil. Okay, so you can see these have uh, sweated a lot. I don't know, is that, is that a word, sweated? But uh, you can see the condensation on the, on the top where it's been dripping down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Now, if you wear contacts and you're going to be taking them out later, wear gloves or if you're very sensitive to um, peppers, um, go ahead and, and wear gloves to do this part because this is very hands-on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and peel these. See how easy they peel once they've, they, once they've sweated like that. But I was having a real hard time peeling this one. So if you have a sharp enough knife, you can just kind of run over it and, and get the rest of the peel. If not, if you have a good uh, potato peeler, that helps. But this is what you want your chile to look like, um, completely uh, peeled. It's kind of slimy. And then, I usually just stick my thumb right underneath the uh, stem. I just stick that right in there to kind of break it loose, pull that out, and then you kind of get the stem and, um, and part of the seed pod out. So just slice it open. And then I'm just going to Grab a hold of these little veins and seeds and pull them out. Put them in my compost. Rinse this off, get the rest of the seeds out of there.
I'm gonna bring my chiles back out here and I'm just gonna double decker them because just because it saves on time and just chop them. You do wanna be careful, they are a little slimy so your knife can slide a little more, but just be careful. All right, you guys, there you have chopped green chilies. So much better than what you buy at the store in the can. Um, they're not pre-processed, so they haven't lost their integrity. And then, you know, sometimes when you buy the stuff in the can, it just cooks down to nothing because it's already been canned and then processed. So. All right, you guys, so my timer has gone off. And if you see, oh, if you can see this, those uh, potatoes have cooked pretty good. And, uh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna take half of the prepared um, squash blossoms and I'm gonna put them in there. And I'm gonna mix them around really good. And I am going to let that cook. I'm gonna raise the temperature just a little bit. See, it's already bubbling. So I've set my timer for three minutes. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it cook for three minutes and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so that's cooked. That's simmered for three minutes. I'm going to remove this from the heat uh, for two reasons. One, I want it, I want to be able to um, for the temperature to go down during this process of it. And two, uh, I don't have an outlet over here close to my stove and I need to use my immersion blender. Okay, because my, my countertop is tile, I am using a, a hot plate. This is my Laura Ingalls Wilder Home and Museum from Mansfield, Missouri. Um, you guys, I am kind of a nerd. I love, love, love anything written by or about Laura Ingalls Wilder. So, um, that's one of my prize possessions. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. Um, okay, because it has reduced down so much, I don't have a whole lot of liquid. So I'm having to move my immersion blender around a lot. Um, another option that you can uh, use is go ahead and take it out and put it in a blender and blend it you know uh, get it all chopped up really or smooth very very smooth and then uh, put it back in your bowl in your pot uh, again i did not peel the um the potatoes and you that is definitely an option but i just find that the peels on the yukon golds that it's, they will just break down to nothing. So most of this that you see in here is uh, garlic and onion, but um, I think this is a good consistency here. Um, everything is pretty creamy. Go ahead and add my chiles. And I'm gonna add one cup of milk. And I'm gonna stir that together real well. I returned it to the heat and I turned uh, my heat to medium low. I'm gonna go ahead and add these, um, the reserve chopped onions and, and garlic. I'm gonna add those into it as well. Stir that all up. It's so creamy and beautiful. It smells amazing too. All right, I'm gonna cover that back up and I'm gonna, once it comes to a simmer, I'm going to cook it for another 10 minutes. Okay, now that we have added the milk to it, we do wanna keep a closer eye and make sure that it's not scorching to the bottom. So it's kind of like making potato soup. You do want to keep checking on it often uh, just to make sure that you are 
not scorching the milk <laughs> to the bottom of the pan because nothing is worse than scorched soup. Okay, my timer's fixing to go off for that 10 minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in the, oh, we had one potato left in there. I'm gonna add in the squash that we had chopped up and I'm gonna stir that in and we're gonna cook it again for another three minutes. It's a lot of stirring and cooking. It's just a lot of steps to this soup. Because the soup is so creamy, I think adding the um, squash in last, squash or zucchini or whatever it is, um, just kind of adds the texture to it because otherwise then you're just eating cream. This is going to add a little bit of crunch to it or a little bit of texture, not really crunch. And the only thing is, is just remember that different squash has different texture. So if you go with like a patty pan squash, you probably want to cook it a little bit longer or add it in, uh, you know, before that 10 minutes is up. So then that way you can, um, it can cook down a little bit longer. So again, make sure you're stirring that nothing is sticking to the bottom. the last ingredients and that's the uh the remainder of the squash blossoms and i'm going to go ahead and put those in to stir that i'm going to cook that for another three minutes or so all right you guys i forgot to set my timer but it's been about three minutes or so i'm going to check those um squash and see if i can kind of cut through them pretty easily with my spoon it may take a little bit longer Again, you do want to make sure that you are stirring. This is why I set timers because if not, I think it's okay. It's not bad. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt and pepper. There is no rhyme or reason to the salt and pepper. Just add it till, what is it? Till your ancestors say, yummy, yeah, huh? That's enough. So let's just add some salt and pepper. Should have put coarse for oh I do have coarse black pepper. Not poured it in. I like a lot of pepper. Rusty and I both like black pepper. Only it'll make me sneeze here in a minute. Just trying to make sure that we can cut into these um, pieces of squash because you don't want them too al dente. You don't want them like mushy like the rest of it, but don't want it al dente either so much that so the best way to check it is good and... hmm nope that's perfect okay I have half a cup of heavy whipping cream here and I'm just gonna stir that in makes this beautiful soup. Stir it in real good. I'm going to try this again. Honestly, it's like a really creamy potato soup. That's very good. Um, normally I would make like a grilled cheese sandwich to go with this, but I really want to try these uh, battered um, squash blossoms. So we're going to do that instead. That, 
Um, if you heard that, we have a Wookiee in the other room. Chewy has come to visit. <laughs> Just playing. Rusty is moving furniture in the other room. <laughs> and it sounded like a Wookiee. <laughs> Chewbacca is here, y'all. <laughs> Oh, horrible Star Wars jokes. I am so sorry. 